What's up everybody? We are back, back on Boomer's Lawn. Today it's time to continue on our full season program. So we're gonna hit it with a quarter pound of in today, just as outlined in this last video. And uh, let me show you how things are looking right now. We'll go ahead and knock out this application, talk about what I'm gonna add into it to keep going in the uh, direction that we want it to go. And you know, we'll have a good time on the lawn. Let's do it. Okay, so I think first things first, let's go ahead and give an update of where we are and what we need to be working on to get this thing still absolutely stellar. So, as you can see, color is looking great. Color is looking awesome. It's growing more consistently. Things have really evened out. So that's, that's really good. We still have some thin spots to deal with over here along the rock wall that still have to come in. And I'm noticing that we're definitely seeing an irrigation issue on one end, and that's just over here so this is something that we'll probably have to get addressed but it kind of looks like it might have gotten scalped and that's more what happened so seeing as it's getting hot and um we're not getting any precipitation that we're only relying on irrigation here this is something that really needs to be watched out for so i had him mowing at about an inch inch and a half uh with his mower just in the beginning uh mulching the clippings getting everything back down so that uh, we could kind of work on trying to thicken it up because now I want to start growing it up a little bit. We'll move that mower up to two inches and let everything kind of move up into that level. But you can see those kind of spots that we were dealing with before have mostly evened out. They're still there a little bit. You know, these kind of dog spotty things are still there and we don't have the full density yet. But again, we're only running like four weeks right now. so. We've still got a little ways to go, and we're gonna be moving on into sort of this second phase of summertime care. So let me tell you what I'm gonna to do today, and then I guess just, you know, spray it out, and we'll talk about that. But this is basically what's going to happen. I'm still not really seeing a whole lot of weeds. It's entirely possible that we'll have some come along later, and we'll have to deal with that at that point. But today, I'm just gonna hit it with 1801 at 15 ounces per thousand square feet. And I'm gonna hit it with dethatch. I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna hit it with dethatch. So I've got a couple spots in the lawn that look like this right here, and you can see this kind of dead grass. And you know, I could run the Sun Joe over this, but I thought this is a great candidate to go ahead and just run dethatch and give this a little bit of a kick and see if we can clear it out. I've already got a couple of projects that I'm doing with that material right now, but this one, just given where there's some little thinner spots like this, and you can see the dead matter. I wanna go ahead and give that a chance to be um, pulled out more biologically, uh, just through a topical application rather than doing a me mechanical. And there's not a lot of it, but it is restricting growth in some of these spots. And so, you know, we'll just, we'll run the application, get this thing moving in the right direction. So yeah, you know, feeling, Feeling pretty good about that. So I'm gonna bust out two quick passes today with the ortho. I'm just gonna keep using this little bastard, cause why not? You know, it's doing the job here. Two passes, 16 ounces of 1801, 15 ounces, 16 ounces. I'm gonna fill the ortho to 32. Put that out there and that's gonna give me about a quarter pound of in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Knock out this 2000 square feet, be done with that. Then I'm gonna come back over and I'm gonna run nine ounces per thousand of the dethatch. And you may wonder why this bottle looks like this. It is not because it's been growing, it's because I didn't have the cap screwed on all the way as it's been riding around in my truck for the last week. So, you know, there's that. But this is gonna go out of nine ounces per thousand. I'm gonna give it a little heavy dose. I wanna make sure that we're starting to clean up some of that dead matter that's stuck in there. And it's also probably gonna give even a little bit darker of a, a green boost and, uh, you know, just help feed some of that little soil life. It's gonna be wonderful. Won't you join with me? Now 
I know what some of you are gonna say. You know, John, do you really think wearing your safety flip-flops is a good idea when you're out spraying? And to you I say, no, not really. I probably should have shoes on, but they're in my other car. I don't really feel like going home and, you know, I'm gonna have kind of sticky and gross feet after this, but it's the price I have to pay for green grass. Now a word from our sponsor, Rikers Island Chemical Quartet, Prison Riot Family Conglomerate Company. From the makers of Hydrate, Rio Break, and Rusted Rake comes the last hose you will ever buy, Pila Hose. Pila Hose is the must-have tool for every yard care enthusiast, guaranteed to hang up on everything. Be too long to be practical. With over a thousand feet in every pile, you'll ask yourself, did I even turn the water on? Pila Hose is guaranteed to add frustration to your day. With our patented suck it pile technology, it'll always be a mess right where you left it. So go on, coil that hose. It doesn't matter. It returns to its original shape every time. But wait, there's more. For a limited time, you can get our pile of hose rolling cart. Simply place inside. Because trying to coil a hose is absolute bull So remember pile of hose. When things are going easy, you just need pile of hose. From Rikers Island, Family Chemical Company Quartet Prison Riot Family Brand. I will, however, spray this in reverse because I don't really want them to be too icky. And the wind is blowing, which is cool. So let's just do like that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Hold on, she's getting queued up. That's better. All right, so the 1801 is done. Um, I am just going to quickly do the dethatch and then um, kick the sprinklers on and water this stuff in. Give it just a little drinky poo and that'll be wonderful. A little tip, just again, I've said this before, if you have to spray in the wind, which sucks and I don't recommend it, uh, put the wind to your back, let it carry the spray, make sure you're really watching where everything is going and um, you know, you can just kind of let it work with you. You point down your fan a little further and just let it sort of carry across the grass and then move with your back towards the wind over and over again. So, for what it's worth. Okay, so with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and crack the sprinklers and let them run for a few minutes. Um, also let it just sort of rinse off the hose and um, you know, just, just kind of push all this stuff into the ground because it makes a big difference. Especially again, it's gonna be warm today, a lot of wind, very drying. Might as well go ahead and give this as much of a push and help as possible. And you know, keep making it green. So. Let's do that. That's the drip. I should have known better. Something so rewarding about watching sprinklers run. I don't know what it is. I just it's like super peaceful or something. running through this other station right now that does this whole back half and 
you remember earlier in the video I said I think that there's probably an irrigation issue down on the one end where it was dry plus it was scalped I found the culprit what does it mean what does it mean oh what does it mean I don't think she's doing what she's supposed to Clark so boomer I know you're gonna watch this fix your sprinkler head you need a Just run over to Home Depot and spend about $3, sorry. But then this won't look like crap. Well, that's gonna do it for this. That's that application, that's the quarter pound, that's the dethatch. We're gonna come back in about two weeks and see how we're looking and uh, not do our next application until July 10. So we'll be doing it just after 4th of July. And you know, we're still gonna make progress. It's gonna be great when that sprinkler's fixed. The rest of them seem to be doing their job. I feel good about the way that they're going right now. And Again, the grass is coming along absolutely swimmingly. So for those of you out there who get worried about watering things in or not watering things in, let me just say this. If you are putting things out through a hose in sprayer, just go ahead and let the water run clear and walk back across what you sprayed. That'll help. You kind of want to push this material down into the ground. If you have to wait, that's fine, but you do want to make sure that if you don't see any rain, oh, look at this guy. Nice. It's always cool when the Falcons pay a visit. Anyway, where was I? Plant it around a rainfall event. Do your spraying. Let the rain wash it in. If you have irrigation, run it for a few minutes. It just helps. It helps to get everything moving, active, working the way it's supposed to. Get it in the ground, and you'll just have a green lawn before you know it. So that's it for me. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys real soon. See ya.